Hello friends. I'm speaking to you from my, my study in Green Valley, Arizona. It's July 2nd, 2022. It's the monsoon season here in the desert. Yesterday we had a, a huge thunderstorm created uh, flash flood warnings. That's what the monsoon season is like in the desert. Every afternoon it clouds up and rains somewhere. It's a lovely time of year and the desert is just beautiful. I haven't made a video in a while and I've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of things is, a lot of things have changed, of course, in my life. Nancy and I, as many of you know, moved to the desert in Arizona and feel very much at home, very much delighted to be here. I'm looking in my life and in my culture and in my world at multiple tipping points. The dance of the Tao is always in the yin and yang, the light and the dark, the receptive and the active. And cosmos and existence is composed of an infinite number of these dances. The dances are incur occurring inside of my body, shifting in my body rhythms. They're shifting in my day-to-day -day life. They shift in, in the culture. They shift in the seasons of the earth. They shift in the solar system, in the galaxy, and in the cosmos. It's an incredibly, almost infinitely complex dance that keeps existence in place. And the Tao and the flow of the Tao is what allows this existence to occur. And in the macro galactic universal sense and in the individual sense, balance is always being in a dynamic uh, state. A dy dynamic balance is always being maintained by the flow of the Tao. I live now on a planet in a culture that is way, way out of balance. The aggressive nature of humanity, the overactive nature, the possessive nature, and the fearful grasping nature <clears throat> of humanity has created a, a dangerous, dangerous imbalance in the yin and yang. The Tao will restore that balance and is in the process of doing it right now and we can see it in many ways. Climate change is the restoration of balance and the Tao will restore a dynamic balance to the earth. The question will be, will there be a place for humanity in that? On some days I think, well, maybe. On other days I think, not a chance. Has humanity spent its little time in the existence of the cosmos and is it ready to return to the Tao? Just like individuals return to the Tao? Maybe, maybe not. It's not really a question <clears throat> I can answer. The only thing I can answer is what's my responsibility while I'm uh, a manifestation of the power and the presence of the Tao to do? This is a transformative time. Anger has to be transformed to, to compassion. Judgment and blame and outrage has to be transformed into the energy of love and a almost effortless, compassionate action in the moment in whatever faces us in our life right here, right now, how is the Tao responding to that? Instead, we're trying to respond to a multitude of fears and imaginations. And that process in us is being fueled constantly by the, the media and the dynamic uh, of our culture. What am I going to do? How am I going to be part of, the, of a transformative society? How am I going to be active in my culture without simply 
screaming, yelling, and rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. How am I going to be able to make effective action, transformative action? Because if humanity is to have a place, it cannot be by rearranging the structures we now count on. They have stopped working. <clears throat> they will no longer work, and we cannot make them work. Do I have an answer as to new structures? No, 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 not at all. If I tried to answer what new structures would be, I would still be, be building on the dynamic of existing structures. And I would say, instead of doing this, do this. Now, it has to be something much more from deep within individual people. That doesn't mean that I think that action in the world is purely individualistic, but it begins with the individual. And until I am transformed at a level deep enough in my heart and in my gut and in my thoughts to see a new possibility for the world outside of blame, outside of anger, outside of outrage, outside of rearranging the deck chairs, nothing will happen. We will just <clears throat> continue to shuffle about with our fists raised and shaking in the air and our voices shouting into the, into the void. I can't determine what another person's action might be. I'm not even sure what my actions are going to be. But I know they start with this particular video and with a dedication to my own practices that arise out of the Tao. They're spiritual. They have a mystical edge to them. They grow out of a philosophy of Taoism that blends with Buddhism and mystical Christianity. And they have their roots in uh, an understanding that there's only one thing happening in the world, that there's only one life of which I am a part, and apart from which I can never be. There is no God from whom I am separate. There is the God of whom I am a part and from whom I can never, ever be separated. So any authentic spirituality has to start from my perspective and my work from that given. I can't argue that point. That's a given for me. There is only one thing happening. We are all a part of it. We will never be anything but a part of it. From that point of view, what do we do? That precludes us from trying to argue or blame or adjust or tweak or fix another person or other people. It limits us to the actions of compassionate listening, compassionate understanding, and effective in the moment action of healing and restoration. Now there will be people who are much more politically active than I could ever be. Bless your heart. I don't believe it's going to work, but go for it. You don't believe what I'm saying. That's all right. We're still all part of one thing. I'm speaking to those of you who are looking for something more transformative than the anger and the outrage. Something more transformative than the blame and the shame. Something that starts with you. Something that starts from a sense of coming home to a place from which you can act with a certain fearlessness and detachment from outcome. That's what the philosophy embodied in Tao and mystical Buddhism, mystical Christianity, the mystical elements of spiritualities, that's their starting point. And that's the point from which I'm going to be working. I'll be putting up more videos in the coming days. I hope quite a few more. And if I'm rambling a little bit now, it's because I've stopped preparing what I'm going to say. If there's a flow going on in me 
and a flow going on in the world. I don't want to impose my agenda on that flow. I don't want to impose my words on what's flowing through me. I want to be part of something much, much more pervasive and alive and energetic than my mental processes can produce. Have I touched anything in my rambling words that make you a little bit curious and touch something in you that says, I don't quite understand what he's saying. I'm not sure he understands what he's saying. But yeah, I know there's a place that I want to work from and a place to which I want to go that feels much more at home than the anger and the frustration and the fear that I now fear, that I now feel. If this is true for you, please get in touch with me. I don't know how I'm going to package what I do. I do work with individuals on a, on a hourly basis if you want to really explore this kind of, of process. And you can reach me through my website, williammartin.com. I'm sorry, williammartin.org. Uh, please feel free to contact me. What's going on? Let me know. Am I shouting in the wilderness? Am I a stranger in a strange land? What am I looking for? What are you looking for? It's time to find it. It's time. It is time now. Talk to you later.